assalamu alaikum viewers this is engineer sadaqat ali and uh, you are watching my youtube channel our real time simulation world so in the previous video we saw that uh, when we were using local variables uh, we were missing some uh, data due to the uh, uh, due to the uh, different loop rates e either we were writing uh, the data uh, faster and we were reading the data slower so in that case uh, you overwrite the data the old data with the new one so what happened in that case in that case you lose your some points of data so because of that what we were what was happening uh, you were not able to receive the total amount of data that you were sending from the producer loop to the consumer loop now if we want to receive the total amount of data the complete data that we are transferring from one loop to the other parallel loop what we need to do is to use queues queues is the only method in lab view uh, which provides you uh, to transfer each point of data to transfer every point of data from one parallel loop to another parallel loop without closing your data so let's get started uh, so first of all what you need to do is to right click on the block diagram and you should go into this data communication right after that you should come here in queue operations so in queue operations you find uh, different uh, <clears throat> blocks here to implement queue first of all you see obtain queue obtain queue is to uh, obtain the queue to create the queue basically and this block is used in queue element in queue element is to use to write the data into the queue uh, like we have producer loop here so we will write the data using uh, in queue element and then uh, preview queue element you can preview each element of the queue right you can get the queue status that what are the number of elements uh, in the queue currently okay and after that the most important is this one dq element dq element is used to uh, read the data nq is used to write the data into the queue and dq is the uh, block that you you use to read the data from the queue so let's get started so first of all we need to uh, create the queue for that we will use obtain queue so this block is basically obtain the queue right so first of all we need to set the size of this we do not want unlimited size so let's create a constant and enter a value of 8000 let's say uh, we need 8000 points and uh, uh, what you need to enter is to data type so we have uh, the double data type you can see um, waveform is basically the double data type so for double, double data type what you need to do is to wire a constant you should go you should right click on the block diagram go into the numeric tab and select this double numeric constant so this double numeric constant should be wired with the the input of the data type so yes it's done now what you need to do is to connect this queue out with the tunnel of this uh, while loop and also the error out we should connect this with the while loop after doing so what you need to do is to again right click on the block diagram again go to the data communication and again go into the queue operation and select this in queue element in queue element as i already told that in queue element is used to uh, write the data into the queue so what we need to do is to connect this and connect this error uh, wire this one and uh, leave this time up and write here the output so what we have done we have write we have written this one now what should you should do you should connect this with the 
terminal of this and also you should connect output with this one okay the writing part is done now what we need to do is to uh, read basically read the data so for that what we need to do is to create another create another while loop so let's create it so here it is while loop so put this while loop over here right so first of all what we need to do is to dequeue the element so for that again we will right click on the block diagram go on to the detector mutation and queue operation okay this looks very messy you right click go on to the data communication queue operation and then select you should what should you should do as i already told you that you should press control space uh, this quick block will open <clears throat> and you can write here what you need we need dq so dq element right there it's very uh, more easy as compared to that but professionally you should do uh, what I am doing the way I am doing so first of all uh, we should connect uh, this one and then also the error wire as well uh, okay it's done uh, you should leave this time out and uh, what you are getting you are getting element so to show what data you are getting first of all what you need to do is to create a waveform chart over here right so i am going into the silver and this is my waveform chart putting it here and a little bit decreasing its size so that I can see every point of data right now it's look good okay so <clears throat> after this so where my waveform chart is I should double click on this and here it is so I should place this one here right click and view is icon so this is my data and this is what this is the output of the dq right and after that uh, what i need to do is to uh, is to get q status right this is my q out and this is my error wire right with an element remove element pending insert the route now you should connect this error out with uh, the stop button so <clears throat> if any error occurred the loop will get stopped right okay after doing so uh uh, what you need to do is to check once uh, uh, this loop has stopped uh, what you need to do is to elements number of elements in queue you can also check this one this will tell you that how much elements are remaining in the queue right uh, let's place it over here and we also want to set the rate as we have set the rate of this consumer loop so let me first name this loop as consumer loop right and copy this control and drag this one over here right uh, we can copy this same as twice as but uh, if you haven't seen my previous video so for, for you let me create this one again 
so how we create this drop down menu uh, what we did we basically right click on this front panel and we uh, we go into this let's uh, create a silver one uh, ring and enum and ring and enum uh, my uh, choice was this menu ring so you should place this menu ring over here uh, this looks more good than the upper one okay right click on this and press edit items and then what should you do you should basically click on this sequential values and now you can enter uh, the same as producer the loop rate should be same as producer what was the loop rate it was 60 milliseconds and after that twice for twice the loop rate it means faster so you should enter 30 and for half means slower so what you need to do is to double the rate so 120 milliseconds okay so press okay so now you can see we have created a drop down menu so we'll select the same as above we, we, we are not able to see complete okay now okay what what else we have okay and then what you need to do is to okay uh, you need to create a, a, a while loop over here in order to stop this so uh, what you need to do is to bring this one here and we should wire error wire here also now right click on this again go into the data communication and get queue status and wire this up here wire this error wire here right and elements number of elements in the queue now if my number of elements in the queue are uh, zero equal to zero my sh loop should get stop otherwise it should get it should wait some time so uh, what i need to do is to select uh, from comparison block uh, equal to zero if the number of elements are equal to zero my loop should get stop wire this one okay press ctrl b to remove the unnecessary wires and then right click on the block diagram and go into the data communication equation and release queue and wire this one here and control space and error out error indicator delete this one okay uh, let me oh we, we didn't connect it this one uh, where is this one it's here so drag this one into this loop press view as icon and now you can connect this so my error is removed uh, now what I need to do is to put this weight structure here and right click on this and at least wait 300 milliseconds to check whether any other data is available
okay so now let's save this file and see how queues are different from local variables so this one is the producer data and this waveform chart shows uh, the output of local variable and this shows the output of queues right so let's run this one okay our code is running and we are getting perfect data so you see if i change this twice as producer we are missing some data but if i change this one twice nothing happens the speed of this increases but we are getting each point of data whatever the data is written uh, sent from the producer data producer loop it is read it is read into the queue data you can also decrease the speed and see we didn't any we didn't lose any of the data we are getting perfect data and the number of elements are also increasing because uh, the rate at which we are reading is very slow on the other hand you can see if i decrease the speed of this the not only the data but the shape of the waveform is also disturbed whereas in the queues the number of elements no doubt are increasing because we are reading at a very uh, slow rate but but in this case the shape is also disturbed not the data but the shape is also disturbed because that the rate at which we are reading is very slow so what what is happening that uh, if uh, before reading the data the new data is coming so the old data is overwritten and it's gone so you cannot uh, basically uh, uh, get that data the data that is lost so if i uh, if i read it fast so the number of elements will get decreased because now i am reading faster and writing slower so you see the number of elements are also uh, decreasing the number of elements are also decreasing in the queue so in this way you can implement uh, the queues in the lab view and uh, you can communicate between parallel loops using queues so see you in the next video uh, please like and subscribe my youtube channel and keep posting your questions so that i can answer them okay love is